Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Lumineth Realm Lords Venari Star Shard Ballista. I just keep calling him uh, Dave Batista, but there we go. Um, one of these models will set you back £31.50. That's quite a large chunk of money, um, really, for well, let's face it, just such, such a small box. I mean, it's this, in the same size box as your normal, like 18, 20 pound miniatures. But to have this model at uh, the 31 pound 50, you know, if you just saw, saw this in a shop with a price point there, you'd think, oh my Lord, that's, that's a huge amount um, just for such a small box. That being said, I have purchased it for the channel. Like I said, I would um, cover all of the Lumineth Realm Lords uh, releases. So let's um, rip and tear. Have a little look at what's going on. Let's see the reverse. Uh, so it seems like you have a couple of options though. Um, so you can have uh, this guy aiming the uh, ballista and this guy with a, one of the bolts about to, um, or spear bolts, whatever they're called. Uh, but you've also got this messenger hawk. Hmm, interesting, okay. And then this one here, you've got him pointing. And here, I think he's holding a spear, uh, there look, but the brown is kind of blended in and the steel is blended in. It's not the best shot, is it? Um, but I think they were trying to show the face and the messenger hawk there um, more than the, the spear and him pointing because that spear gets lost in with the um, ballista. Um, but that's great news because it means if you do get three, which is a requirement for the war scroll, then it means that possibly only two of them are going to look uh, the same and you may be able to, to swap them out about a bit. So you could have the guy with the spear along with the messenger, or you could have the guy holding the spear upright with the messenger, or, or have two of them um, aiming, and then the other two slightly different. So it's, it's possible. Now let's uh, unbox this. I think it's two sprues, wow, okay, it is two sprues. So it's 15 pounds or so per sprue. Large, large base here. They're gonna, you know, three of them are gonna take a, a bit of room. Uh, let's have a look at the instructions, let's see what they say. So you're building one of them here. And then that one's with the messenger. You've got two options here with the uh, bolt. Sorry, I, I keep um, calling it a spear. Um, so one with it like that, like so, one holding it and pointing. Um, so you've got four options there for the different um, Lumina. The ballista, I think you get a choice of the different uh, bolts look. These with, uh, these look a bit longer. They've got something extra on them. So that's interesting. And you can place them on there. Oh, this one's still looking, but it's also got the messenger. But it didn't look like that, it didn't look like that he is holding that. Again, it's, it's a strange angle. And then you've got this one here. And then the war scroll as well. So this war scroll is obviously in the techless book and the second um, battle tome. Let's have a look at these sprues. I think they're both different, uh, but having said that, come out one machine look. So doosh, keep printing those out. Um, these are the bolts. Wow, they are, I thought they would be. These ones, not so much, but these are, they're fragile. They are very thin, very fragile. You've got to be careful packing this, this kit away. That's not too bad. The Strings aren't too bad. Okay, the stand. Yeah, and then you've got these lumens. You've got a choice of them there. There's five. You've got this uh, front shield for the ballista. So that's that sprue. This one here has all of the realm lords on it. So you've got uh, a nice sword in a sheath. You've got uh, one of the heads. Um, you've got the messenger hawk. Got another head, so I think you just get two heads here. You get a different choice of arms. The bolts, they look quite spindly. Wow, many bolts. You got this one where the Illuminate's holding it. You got a couple of uh, chest armor pieces, um, two sets of legs, and some more shoulder pauldrons dotted about the place, and arms. This long sword, it's quite cool. So there you go. Um, that is uh, that is both of the sprues, or should I say, kind of one one sprue. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, which uh, which ones I'm gonna create? I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, I prefer the one with the with the hawk, uh, but um, certainly that's throwing a spanner in the works because I wasn't really expecting that. So um, I may well have to pick up another one uh, for the other uh, poses. Because let's face it, this is an awesome 30 inch missile weapon. So why, why wouldn't I? <laughs> and it can still move six inches. Um, so yeah, that is the Venari uh, Star Shard Ballista. What do you guys think of this model? I know I think it would have been better to have two uh, in the set for 35 pounds. I can, I can see this uh, unit um, being included in a, like a start collecting set or even in a battle force at some point. Um, here's hoping we get a uh, Ossiarch and a Realm Lord battle force um, come Christmas 2021. We'll see. What do you guys think of the model? Please do put your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Techless Protects.